Welcome back to another episode of Sandoya Plays for the King. When we last left off, we were finishing off our final, final main objective here before we unlock the next one here. We have our Cass, who has just been cranking up the levels because she has been smoking nothing but the Scholar's Wart, hitting up some huge levels there. We managed to hit a 77 with Sandoya's Battle Axe with this beautiful rap at the moment. Um, Brit's looking pretty fierce as well. She's got some great damage and some really good evasion. But otherwise, she's just the, um, you know, she's holding the party together. She's the glue there, if you like. We're going to head to our Forgotten Cellar. Let's see what that is, shall we? We fight. The Acid Jelly. Oh, no. Acid is not good. Oh, my God. Wait. Only one person gets to fight at a time? I did not realize that was the case. We do have our Coward's Clover. So we could get a couple of shots and then maybe dip. In fact, we might just do that. So why don't we go for a shot here? Good bit of damage. We'll then go for a second shot. Oh, you're... Oh, perfect. You're inflaming me rather than using acid. Actually, we can just probably shoot regularly here. Even if we miss one of them now, we should be fine. So that burning is absolutely fine. Don't worry about that. Smell of burning. <laughs> um air and singed everything else it's fine so basically that was just a little encounter for one of our enemies there apparently our friends couldn't fit into this area it's too small i don't know if i believe that really but nonetheless we did manage to solve the forgotten cellar remove some chaos another key fragment and we have our maze unlocked okay very nice now our portal is about to expire so I'll tell you what, why don't we head down to Devil's Wharf, we'll kind of explore a little bit more of this area here while we're here. We could also take out a Musketeer ship. Why not? Why not? When in Rome, hey? When in Rome? Let's pick up the party, very nice that we can do that as well. And again, we are doing a little bit of exploring here. Do you move into us, or do we just move into you if we want to fight? I guess it's us moving into you. That was a pretty horrible roll. Do we want to attack? Why not? Bit of extra experience here. Combat's half the fun. Oh, enemy ships. Enemy ships contain multiple unknown enemies. When engaging enemy ships, players cannot flee. Understood. They are level 5. We should be fine there. Oh, Macaw and two Musketeers. So it's not the three Musketeers. Oh, it takes a turn to reload. Interesting, interesting. So we do want to try... Is it better to go for a high shot damage here or a potential to ignore armor i don't think ignoring four armor is the biggest thing here i think instead we just go for our focus here and try and smack your middle a crit is fantastic though how much damage do we do 25 not quite enough but i think it is still worth it or do we instead stun let's try and stun you 100 percent chance to stun beautiful we stun you you your attack is now waylaid now this is not enough damage Come on. Come on, Sandoya. We need... I think we need four rolls. So it's probably not going to happen. Did someone say it's not going to happen? I mean, when you've got an axe like that, you can't fail, can you? It's just impossible. We will try to go for this here. Oh my god, a perfect. Did we get a crit as well? We do get a crit. It's not quite enough though, unless we manage to get lucky here again with another crit. No such luck. Now, do you attack with your loaded shot? <laughs> this combat, man. This combat. Honestly. 32 damage. We need to have hit all of them. Well, I mean, that's not going to happen, is it? We probably should have just guaranteed the attack on you. Rushed and reloading. Okay. We'll just finish you off here. Oh my god. Thank god that we hit you with one there. I think it has overkill damage, so I think that was exact damage there that we needed. So, he had 4 armor here, he had 3 HP, the shot was worth 21. Each one of those misses there reduces 7 damage, so we hit him for the perfect killing blow. That is lucky. We could stun ya. Why don't we go for a stun here? There we go, slows you down, now everybody else can take their turns. Trying to finish off, oh my god, just domed you right through the brain. Beautiful. We'll click this with Cass again because you get more experience. We'll click that. Uh, we will give one to Brit here. 
I think everyone having one and then Cass having the main amount. Wizard Crab, interesting. We'll move across here. End our turn, get a refocus back, great. A dark cave, mini dungeon. Yeah, sure, why not? Enter party. I feel like we should be fine here. Now, there is something to be said about maybe healing Brit beforehand, but I don't think that's necessary. What do we have in here? God's Bed, Scholar's Wart. Obviously, very expensive stuff, as it usually is in this underground cave. Or oh. Iron Anchor. Minus speed. Additional damage against water, 30 damage. It's similar to our axe, isn't it? I think our axe is also 30 damage. 26, okay, so it is a little bit better. Away, Crippling Blow, and Stunner. Splash Attack, Pierce. I think we could go for that, but I think we just keep it as is. Or oh, Declan's Bow. Fire Shot. Your current bow there, Brit. 15 damage. Declan's Bow is a huge step up. Also, it's got Fire Shot 2, Fire Spread, Frost Shot, and Heavy Shot. Extra damage, but reduced range. Targets all enemies. Single attack. Plus 15 intelligence. Oh, no, it is an awareness bow. Okay. Actually, increasing your intelligence there as a side benefit is actually pretty good. I think that's a bow that I'm willing to go for. So why don't we give all of our money to Brit. So now Brit. Oh, no, we have to give it all to Cass, I believe. I don't know if it works there because we did shop with you. So we will buy the... Get uh, Declan's bow. We'll purchase that. We'll then transfer it across um, to you. We'll actually transfer both of these across. And we can sell some of the stuff that we know that we're not going to use. The Scholar's Cap can go. Focusing Cap, go. Friendship Ring, Silver Feather, the old boots. Some of the stuff is worth keeping there, only because, you know, if something breaks then we can swap it out there. So for example our makeshift staff, I don't think that's useful, but keeping our knotted staff for the party heal is... Let's sell the arch loot. Fancy tam tambura. And uh, we're making a bit of money here, that's for sure. So we can sell this. Caustic ink will keep. Transfer across to you. What have you got? Declan's bow. Equip that before we forget. Rusty blade can go. All huge will keep just in case. Although why don't we keep our one of our bows here. So we can sell all of these crappy bows. Tattered robe can go. Traveler's hat. We're actually stacking up quite a bit of fat stacks of cash here. Sell this. A silt scarf is not really ever going to be useful. We'll sell that. Um, we can sell a dull spear. We'll keep a melee weapon and keep our curved bow. So 55 gold there. What about Sandoy? What does he have? A wooden round shield. Get rid of that. Spike shield. We'll keep in case we go back to that regular attack. We'll sell a heavy sword. Keep our mace. Iron foil hat. We will sell that as well. Curse immunity is good, but we don't care about it enough. We'll keep that in case we decide to use it. Lightning Talisman is now the time to equip because we're not facing any scourges. And again, apologies there if I am butchering that word entirely. It would not surprise me. It would not surprise me in the slightest, but who knows, eh? Who knows? Now, we can pass. And you know what? We'll refocus. Very nice. We're actually going to equip your knotted staff. And this is why we kept this staff. So we equip it. We now remove this and now we can party heal or a whole bunch of HP across the whole party. Now we go back into your inventory, we equip your weapon of choice and there we go. Good stuff. So we're actually all full up here. We've still got two more there and that saves us from using one to you and actually heals up the whole entire party. The Wraith of Trevo Von, Vol Von Vulcan? <laughs> Von Falcon. Here we go, 113 max HP. Oh my god, we are getting strong here. Now, what do we have? Focus. Oh, it uses magic damage. Interesting. Oh, the whole bow is magic damage now. Oh my god. 
This changes everything, and possibly not for the better in this fight. 29 damage, fire spread. Chance to ignite. I wonder if that is a chance to ignite everyone. Surely that's how that works, right? 29 damage and freeze on an enemy. Actually, you are attacking last. Freeze means more damage with you, but that's still a lot of armor being blocked. Let's see, let's take 9 damage off of here. We would do 20. If we get the freeze here, I think that we can kill you with you. So let's try this. 96% chance with an 88% chance of a freeze. Great. 21 damage with... Oh, you're immune to the freeze. God damn it. Okay. Should have paid attention to that. Evade up. Dodged, frozen, and immune. The 25 damage. We cannot kill you unless we get a crit hit shot here now. So with that in mind... Do we still go for it? Let's try. No crit. Okay. A shame. A shame to be sure, but also not fully unexpected. And I think we just target you here, don't we? The Bone Mage. We might get a chance to one-shot you. No. Okay. Ooh, the dodge. Oh, the evasion being up, of course. Okay. Understandable. Let's try our fire spread. We just want to hit you, basically. Beautiful, beautiful. That crit is very nice as well. Put that attack down. Armor down. Armor up. Okay. Um, let's see here. You don't have much resistance to our magical attack, so we'll go for you. Almost floored you. Oh, the burn got you. There we go. Now we'll just use our cleave here. Any... That's not great. Dodged anyway. I want to try the heavy ice here. 61% shot accuracy. If we get everything, we kill you. Okay, well... Very near. And the fire almost got you as well. Okay, maybe a little bit of a parting gift for us. Only 4 damage though, that's fine. So we can see that bow is very interesting because now we have two effective spell casters, but also a strong melee. But that melee is also very inaccurate, so... Interesting. Interesting, to say the least. But um, for right now, we're doing fine. And we can just continue onwards. Okay, another party. The Chaos Fairies. Great dodge. You want to take out the Thief here. Attack down on you is not great. You guys have resistances. Why don't we try and target you? And why don't we go for... 29 damage with a chance to ignite. Why don't we try our heavy ice? Oh, so close. Oh, we still one-shot you. Yeah, we still managed to get the one-shot in. Beautiful. Dodge resisted and immune. Alright, we go for you because of the accuracy. And we'll ensure the accuracy works. 18 damage. We do need to hit everything here. So it's the right course of action to play this one. 91% chance. Still managed to miss there. Your evasive working well for you there. Great dodge on our part though. Thank you, Brit. Now this... Would kill you if everything hits again. We try. Okay, no such luck. We at least hit you for one. No flaming though, of course, because you managed to miss one. We possibly shouldn't be playing with our food as much as we are, lest we become the food. There we go. Kills you, kills you as well. And now we just start lopping at you and hope for the best. 20 damage is still fine. And 29 damage here requires us to hit most everything, but that's still a pretty... Oh, the shock. I forgot about the shock. Okay, more damage for us is not great. Thankfully, we'll take you out here, though. Beautiful. So this game was a little bit trickier than we expected, but nothing, nothing we can't handle. Vision scroll. We'll give it to one of you two here. The vision scroll is actually pretty handy. Um, you are still cursed. I kind of, okay, why don't we give you Golden Root to Sandoya so that we've ever, all of us have got one now. 
So in case we decide to use it during the course of battle, then we can increase our focus. Oh, we'll pop this bad boy open. See what we have inside, shall we? Bunch of gold, thank you. Book of Law. We've got a lot in this one here. We'll pass one across to Cass. Adventurer's Boots. That's what we've currently got here. Reduces resistance. Increases evasion. Increases armor. Loser health re uh, region. I think we still equip it. Do we go for this? That reduces. You've got plenty of resistance. I think I might equip it this way. Yeah, like that. We do need some better boots, though, that's for sure. Our current boots are pretty mediocre across the entirety of our party. And I know that boots are never going to be the best thing in the world, but still. We expect a little bit better than that there, surely. Oh, let's pick up our party. Thank you for asking before we departed. Here is our wharf. Our wharf is amazing. Scimitar. A pretty decent one-handed weapon there. We could go for 120 gold. We could go for reducing chaos, but I don't think that's necessary. Is that another Scourge? It is indeed. The Desert Raider. Swashbuckler, the Swashbuckler. So these will be ship battles. I think we just go for more gold. We're going gold hungry here. Okay, back towards there. We have to head out that way eventually at some point there, I do believe. Do we go for it now? Actually, it's not too far on the boat, is it? Let's see what we've got in here. Actually, let's see what we've got in the market, shall we? Um, we could increase our pipes. We could go for some Scholar's Wart, which is cheaper here. Mead, Fermented Rot, Rootsworth, Sturdy Dagger, Town Guard Helmet. Town Guard Armor, Iron Vest. Iron Vest is pretty good on Sandoya. Mage Robe. Don't we already have one of these? I think we've got one of these on you. I think instead, oh actually no, no we're currently using Brit Art at the moment aren't we? Okay. At our market why don't we just purchase, we'll transfer all the money across to Brit. Brit buys two Scholar's Warts, <laughs> of course. Um, and why not increase your bone pipe there in case you need to heal yourself. We'll buy a whole bunch of God's Bed. And we're going to transfer most of this across, so we'll transfer both of these to Cass. We will transfer three of these to Cass. And we will... Oh, hang on. Oh my god, you can have multiple pages. I thought that was the max carrying capacity of your characters here. That's pretty sick. Um, good to know as well. Good to know. Sell this. Um, let's give most of this across to Sandoya. And then I think we're pretty good here. Why don't we actually give our rum across to Sandoya as well. I kind of like having everything on one screen there honestly. So I think we'll keep it as that. Um, services. We could remove all curses with Sandoya. So I think that's what we'll do. We will leave. We'll head back into here. Now Cass, we should get some good movement here. Indeed we did. We'll explore a little bit, but it looks like there's nothing else further to the south. Oh, what is this? A sea cave. You know what? Why not? We're here. We're here. Into the party. Actually, there looks like there might still be some stuff down here. Now that I look a bit better. It is level 4. We are 7, 6, and 6. Oh, I like the design in this one. Though. Those look pretty nice. Merlin Fighter is about to attack. Requires perfect... I mean, we do have to get the monkey as well, though, don't we? The AoE sounds pretty good. Ah. Still okay damage. Oh my god, that's so much louder than the rest of the enemies here. Apologies for that there, team, if that kind of caught you by surprise as well. Let's guarantee the kill on the monkey. Oh, I actually, I actually moved off of it there, which actually lost us our focus. Oh, whoops. Um, we will just go for a regular attack on the thief. Hopefully we can finish you off. Bonk, there we go. Now it's just down to the Merling fighter. 
Our best chance here is a fire shot. There we go. Beautiful, perfect. Nice, nicely done there, team. Keep going, give you our money. Adventurer's Cloak. Plus four awareness. Okay, that's great for you. Plus seven evasion too is huge. Okay, before we proceed, we give your current or your previous one across here to Sandoya because I believe Sandoya's current cloak is pretty meh. This is a good upgrade. It also gives us a bit more resistance. And there we go. We can proceed. We could heal up the party, but I think we're good for another turn here. Famous last words. Uh, let's figure out. Let's see how we go, of course. All right. Um, let's see. What do we got here? Fire spread. Fire spread's not bad. Or we could try and murder one of you two directly. Why don't we just go for a fire shot onto you? 90% chance. There we go. Take you out in one shot. One less enemy to worry about. Now you have resistances here. So maybe I just go for the attack here. Or do I stun you? Let's try and stun you. Stone Cold Stunner. There we go. Your attack's now much later on. So now we'll just let Sandoya smack you around a wee bit. I mean, sure, right? There we go. 51 damage. Oh, big numbers make me happy. Big numbers make me happy for sure. Good shot. And good enough there. Okay. There we go. I wonder if stun removes or drops your evasion chance. Or maybe removes it entirely, possibly. Gold. Combat use only plus 25 party evasion. Okay, we'll put it on Brit there. Brit is the one that we want to evade on anyway. Refocus. We've almost got some levels up here. We'll just keep going. Okay, here we go. We have a pool to heal at. Uh, full restore, 36% chance of happening. Oh my god, we've got to do it with Sandoy because that heals for 60 odd. There we go, you've got the vitality as well, so your chance of getting that happening was very high to begin with. That was pretty huge, and we do almost have a heal on Brit here. Oh, here's our interesting clam, Royal Clam, okay. Just like the Royal Chest, I suppose. Gold, Book of Law, Combat Use Only Targets, Party. Cures all elements, replenishes all focus. That is pretty sick. All right, Brett, you're carrying both of those. Um, plus three resistance, plus four evasion. Plus three awareness. Identify scroll. Got two over here, don't we? Yep. Lock picks across the party. Everyone gets one. That's a pretty good turn. I like that. Now let's hop back into here. Let's pick up the party and let's boogie on down to our swashbucklers camp, which is only level three, so that's going to be a very easy combat there for us to finish. I wonder why some of them are so easy compared to others there. Like that was a quest from here, when, which we picked up when we were level seven. Other ones were picked up when we were level two and we had to fight level three enemies there, so something doesn't add up. Oh, that's fine though. Let's take you out. We don't need to ambush you. I'm just going to go straight in. I know, you guys think you're tough. Trust me, you're not. You're not. I appreciate the confidence though. Um, fire spirit is great. We could potentially kill one of you though before you get an attack. Why don't we try for that? Call shot. Oh my god, mate. You never stood a chance that I'm sorry. I'm not really sorry. He deserved it. Swashbuckling pirate's life is not for you. Um, fortunately, we don't quite have enough damage there to take you out. But we'll blast you anyway. We might crit you. No such luck. Um, I think we just play it safe. As much as I want to wail on you. That removes you. Now we might be able to one-shot you. Beautiful. There we go. So the targets and the kind of choice of... Lots and lots of gold there. Apprentice shoes. Plus two. Okay, that is worth it. Elite flea is good there, but extra intelligence there increases our accuracy. So we will hop back into the boat. Dark carnival or night market. We're not in night time, and we're not going to be for quite some time. I think we now head back. 
And I think we head back to now hop into there. Our Scourge is not going to happen for a long time. And if it does, we might be able to tra teleport across to there. I guess we just make tracks back to where we were beforehand. End our turn. Brit is hurt a wee bit. But Brit will be fine. Oh, speaking of which. What is this? Something unknown. Lucky's Vault. Oh, that is the Lucky's Vault anyway there. We'll leave. And we'll end our turn here. Now Brit's going to hop out and search for that. Because you have the awareness there to make it happen. Hop into here. 90% chance. We don't even need to... Uh, um, roll for it. We don't have a chance to either. Ooh, we'll click that. We will hand it right over to Cass. Fire staff. Give it to Cass. Chuck it. Check out Cass's equipment here. Is it an upgrade? It is. Fire blast. Fire bolt. Fire wall. We do lose the poison curse immunity though. It is more damage though. Well, she is enchanted broom one handed. Could we be wearing a shield this whole time? I hope not. <laughs> that would have been good. Let's try it. Let's try it. And I'll tell you what, Sandoya, you now wear the Ruby of Warm Light because we're about to fight a Scourge here. So I'm glad that I kept that. I'm very glad. Now, Brit, you just wait here for your turn. You heal up quite nicely as a result. We could use that to replenish 5 focus, but I don't think we need to. Yes, you jump out here. Let's start this fight, shall we? Lucky's Vault. Item drops are at risk of theft. Okay, let's take out this Scourge. We just fight the one. Fergus the Mad. I'm a mind to murder you, sorry lot. Oh, is that a gold a coin purse? It is indeed, it is indeed. Not for you though, mate. Not for you. Uh, one second there, team. Be checking. Oh, not that one. Alrighty, here we go. Okay, we are good. Thank you. Thank you for bearing in mind there. Well, I guess you didn't really have much choice there, did you? Um, we would love to freeze you, but instead I think we just go for our good chance to hit you. This is actually where our focus would be great. Actually, you know what? We're going to go focus. We are going to go... One, two, three... No, we just go for two. One, two. No perfect. Okay, so as we can see, he evades any non-perfect attack there. So we have to hit him perfectly every time. Reset, ignite. Okay. 100% chance to ignite. Don't mind if I do. 22 damage as well. Now, 81. Okay, so 48 damage even with that. What's our chance to hit here? 75. Still not good enough. 96% chance. No XCOM shenanigans happening there at least. I'm gonna grab my loot. You didn't manage to, thankfully. And again, you know, we've fought this man before. And he's... He seems to be pretty easy as far as scourges are concerned there. Especially if you have a little bit of focus that you can ensure that you get to perfect the boss fights there. Read the corpse and find more gold. Books of lore. Lucky's hat. Extra... Luck and modifier, gold modifier. We will collect it, but we're probably going to sell it, honestly. There we go. Lucky's vault has been closed. Very nice. We'll hop everyone back in the boat. Strong breeze. Hey, thank you, thank you. Now, where's the best place to land? Probably in this corner, or maybe just here, and then we just run across. So we could have maybe landed here-ish. And then teleport it here. No, I don't think that's the best way to go about it. Okay. It doesn't really matter anyway. Refocus is great. Great rolls there. Ooh, hello. We will leave this for Brit here. And um, we'll move up and around. Nice and easy. Now, I think we should be okay to take this out. We seem to be a lot stronger than we used to be. Okay, Brit, I believe. I believe. 100% chance with one focus. I will absolutely take that. Your stat there is huge. Iron Buckler. Ooh. Plus three strength. We will collect that. We will move across here and hand it across 
to Sandoya, Wizard Helmet, let's give it a cross, and let's see what your current helmet is and whether this is an improvement. Curse, immunity to everything is quite nice, but so is extra armor and strength. Strength also increases my chance to hit. Minus 6 awareness, we don't really care about that, but also the stun immunity is pretty sick. So I will actually equip it. Now we've got stun and freeze immunity. Do we give this helmet to anyone else? Uh, let's see, what's your current helmet here? Uh, town guard. Okay, we do give the helmet across from myself to Brit. So we just basically trade helmets there. Now Brit can wear this. Yes, you lose some armor there, Brit, but you get a lot of fantastic immunities there, which should help out a great deal in the long run. It is a shame to lose all those. Plus it looks better on you anyway there, in my mind. Let's end our turn. We're going to take out this wizard here once Cass gets here. There go, and then we'll just keep moving. Fight you. I don't know, I feel like we've kind of been the one that kind of bullies you here, mate. So I don't know if you should be so... Um, whoops, we don't need to worry about that. We're fine. Would have made a difference, but not a huge difference. Dodge, resist, and six damage and immune there. So you can see that our immunity here is stacking up quite nicely. And between the three of you just attacking regularly, oh my god, that's such a sick helmet on myself as well. There we go. Almost one shot you there. We knocked your hat off there. That's a good sign of things to come. Cass, keep rolling in the dough there. Oh, please don't tell me that we can't start this because you're not in the realm. Well, I was correct. Um, we'll bring everyone across. Oh, hello. Twisted Archer, speed. We don't want you to do this. We'll try it with you because you've got the speed there. We'll heal up a little bit. Rip moves in. We'll use a focus as well here. Oh, we can't, okay. Worth a shot. Oh, so close, so close there, Brit. Tell you what, do we use a heal here? Nah. You can wait, you can wait. Now, Cass has got great movement, which I love to see, because I did want to pay a quick little visit to Padid. Actually, why don't we get the money from Sandoya, give it to Cass. He's got 600 gold there on her own person. Don't get robbed on the way. No quest currently, that's fine. Market, what do we have? Oh, is Dragon's Pipe the highest level pipe that we can get there? It looks like it is. Scholar's Wart. Don't tempt me like that. Um, another portal. We've already got a portal scroll, so we don't really need another one. Starfish staff. It's home, ornate loot. Hound guard armor. I mean, none of this is really that great, so I think what we go for... Let's go for vision scroll. Let's then use the vision scroll right now. Assume that we can use it basically wherever we want. Looks like that is the case. Where is our area to head to? Why don't we explore somewhere in between? Okay, so it's just a whole lot of nothingness. I don't really mind that we tried it though. Uh, let's go back to our market. Let's stack up on more of this. So we've got healing for days. Actually, a bit of Panax there could do quite well. But we are, you know me, we're going for the Scholar's Wart. And we are going to crank this. And Cass is going to get some huge levels here. One, two, three, four. Level 8 compared to 7 and 6 there. Very, very, very nice. How much gold do we have? 303 left. Identify scroll. Another portal scroll. Sounds good. And honestly, some panaxes there. Or the acid might be good. So we might share those around between the team. Let's leave here. There's nothing else that we can do, right? Removes all curses. Nah, we don't really need that. I'll tell you what, we've got enough focus here that we can head across here. And we will give... Oops, wrong person. We will give one of those panaxes there. Oh, we can give it to both. Very nice. 
Is that because we've got a person in between, so we essentially pass it to you and onto you? Maybe, maybe not. We'll end our turn, refocus, very nice, and in. Or do we try that, or do we try and get to here first? It could be anything, it could even be nothing. Nice day? Oh, sure. Well, now that you say that. Game of luck. Cass is the luckiest. Oh, we have to play it. Yeah. Sure, why not? Nothing. We almost got the 16 experience. Ah, well. It is what it is. Okay. Tell you what. Get in this way. Um, Cass, you can share one God's bed. Give it across to Brit. And Brit, why don't you just use it now just to get back up to full HP. Everyone's going in basically full HP. Sandoy is going to get a level up here in just a moment. And let's see how we fare in the King's Maze here. I think we've got time to finish this off, depending on how long this one goes. Of course, I don't want to have the episode running too long. Oh, it's a very long dungeon here, so we might even finish it after the first floor. We'll see how we fare. Now, freeze. Accuracy is insane. Um, let's see. Heavy damage, 45. There is a chance. Ah, no such luck. Okay. Still, 36 damage is our first shot. There's a nice opening salvo. Round corpse. Cursed lethargic. Speed is greatly penalized. Your speed's already horrific anyway. That's still good to realize. Um, let's see here. We could go for a firebolt onto one of our enemies across the sides here. Like, for example, you. So I think we will do that. We'll use two. There we go, took you out in one blast. Um, how do we fare with this one here? Six nine percent luck. So close. Do you have the AoE attack still? You do, okay. I think this should be fine. Very nice. Okay, good use of turns there. We do still have, oh there we go, level up gives us some focus as well. Take the gold on you. Ooh. This is better. This is just strictly better. Permanent plus one, two resistance. Oh my god, Cass is already decked out with resistance. I think because sandoy has got the max HP, we can give this to Brit here. We might as well use it immediately. I don't know if we can ever wait for it and you know use it a bit better later on. Um, let's see here. We do have the golden root. Do we want to give... Let's give Brit a golden root here. So we'll give it from Sandoya. So now both of you two have them. 120 HP. Oh my lord. This is sick. I'm having a lot of fun now that the game's easier, as you might be able to tell. It makes it a bit more palatable, I think. Uh, let's see here. You are all resistant to magic to some degree. What do we go for? Maybe an enraged ghoul? I think we go for the accuracy. I think the accuracy is overall going to be better damage for us. He says as he misses. Oh my god, the dodge. The dodge. Okay. Thankfully you didn't heal any because you already were at full HP, which I guess is a pretty pretty glass half full type um, analysis of the situation. Fire Blast, we can ignite one of you. You are level 6. We're not going to kill you, but we could kill you before your next attack. Let's go for you this way. 13 magic damage. That's why our resist was quite important there. 33 damage with this. We'll guarantee it. Not guarantee it, but... Almost certainly guarantee it. 41 damage was fantastic. Now, you're attacking next. You're attacking after the fact. Is there any chance of us taking you out? Possibly only with a freeze here. There we go. So we freeze you. We deal 18 damage. Now, is that going to be enough for you? I'm very glad that you're immune to that. 29 damage. Is it going to be enough? Oh, could we go for this instead? Ha! 32 damage, very nice. You got absolutely blasted there. 
All right, see you later. Let's go for our lucky attack here. Oh my god, we just can't miss here. All right, I'm liking the dungeon so far. Everything's coming up Millhouse. Let's click all that. Find distance movement bonus. Oh wow, you've you've currently got the. We'll give that for you for sure. Movement bonus on Brit sounds great. The other one wasn't that great for her. Um, do we use a golden root now? I think so. We've got a lot of combats coming up. Let's just do it. Let's just be safe. Do we do our God's bid yet? I don't think so. I think we heal at the end of this combat. Okay, monkey is target number one. We've got attack down. Resist down. Okay. Thankfully, Castle has a lot of resist. Everyone else, that certainly hurts. We'll try and ignite you. I wonder if we can... Okay, no igniting, but still great damage. The Bard. Is that evasion? That is evasion. Okay, that's going to be really difficult for you. Oh my god, your speed is so slow that you're getting taken out by this. Um, we need to kill you. The only way that you dodge this is with evasion. Great. Great, 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 great. We love to see it. Now you have evaded any non-perfect attack. So we either attack you like so. Actually, I think we do go like this because if we do manage to hit you, we do kill you. There we go. All right. That was a good outcome there. Now, and so far as you are concerned, I'll just go for a regular shot. I mean, there is a chance that if we hit all of these, Oh my, that was perfect damage as well there. We are just perfectly timing all of this stuff here. Cass keeps stacking up the gold there, plus five gold. If I really wanted to micromanage, oh, you can't actually equip hats here in between. That's good to know. Because I was considering giving you the hat that gave you more, uh, more gold there, which is this one right, not the iron foil, the lucky's hat. Evasion, Gold Multiplier, and Luck. Because you've currently still got the Gold Multiplier from your fancy rough. I do kind of wish that you would have a better one there than what you've currently got, but oh well. It's ready up. Alright, next battle here. I think we just focus on you there, right? Pretty much guarantee that we can take you out. Yeah, and then we just leave these two for the melee damage. I'm going to say no need to use a focus. I'm glad that I didn't because as you can see, we could have used a focus. That might have been the way to go. Okay. Frozen. Immune, immune, and resisted though, so very nice. Um, Firebolt will take you out. A fire blast that is accurate enough will take you out. We'll use a focus here to make sure it guarantees that hit, which makes sure that you are taken out. Now, of these two, 53 damage. I think we try and take out our mage here. Although, yeah, mage. Let's go for it. 69%. Meme number? Funny number? Ah, uh, is that 1 HP? Okay, it is. But that means that this should be okay here as well. Did anyone tell me how he managed to dodge that arrow shot? He resisted an arrow shot with his arm. I guess because he's got the 10 enemy resistance. I know, I, I, I get how it works, but I'm still not happy about it. Um, let's see here, we'll just take you out. Bonk. And... Still 11 damage for only hitting one there is hilarious. Um, we'll try and freeze you. Very nice. You get to heal a little bit. Oh, great dodge there, Brit, with 40% evasion there. Very, very nice stuff. Now, what does our map look like? We do have another combat coming up. This is where we collect that. A great bow. It's good. I might consider it to be great, but click that. And now, let's do what we were planning to do beforehand. Let's equip your knotted staff, which has the party heal. 
We then close this. We party heal here. Get everyone back to basically full HP there. Thanks to your strong as pipe. Um, no sexual in any windows, please. Let's equip this fire one back here again. And we will move onwards. Okay, powder monkey. Must die. Um, this is not great. Ignite or freeze? Doesn't really matter, does it? I do like the flexibility though in terms of the choices. Frozen is a great move. Also the status effect there, receive plus 25% more damage. I thought it was plus 50 when it's on us. It's kind of annoying if it changes based on who's doing it. Um, we will just use this to take you out. Unless you evade, we guarantee the kill. Now the Black Hag attacks us here for full damage, 22 damage. Spell, what does Dispel do? Ah, wait. Is that shocked? I thought you shocked us. Maybe you remove our spell slots there, but we don't have any anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Um, if a singular slot is removed every time, why don't we try and... Oh, we don't get a perfect anyway, so I guess we just go for our standard attack. Great luck, 32 damage. We probably should have gone for you given that you're attacking next, but hey, it is what it is. Great, perfect. 17 damage taken. Now we get everyone to attack once before you attack again. Decent bit of damage. Not the end of the world. Um, Firebolt. Beautiful. 34 damage. Immune, okay, yep, you're immune to all those status effects there. We are burning, but we have a pretty good chance of finishing it. Okay, we won't party heal here. I believe that we have the means to continue through. Plus three strength. Plus 31 experience. I mean, if you're going to feed it to me, I'll take it. Now we do have a question mark room here. Let's see what's in here, shall we? Alright, a trap. This is based on your talent. You know what, I think that we pop the golden root here. And we use our talent here to go one, two, three. There we go. And that actually gave Cass all the experience too. We really are stacking up all the experience on one party member. Probably not advisable, but yet here we are. Um, ready up. We do have a combat. Wow, so loud. Okay, piercing damage across the board. Let's see here. Do we go for one kill or do we go for all enemies? Perfect to ignite. We kind of want to ignite everyone, don't we? And we did. Great. You're going to heal back up to full. Ooh, that looked a bit nasty there. You know, the fact that we were able to hold your entire weight on our face there. It got some serious neck muscles on Brit here, that's for sure. Um, 29 damage. Let's ensure that we kill this imp boy that's about to attack. We'll guarantee it. Oh, I forgot about the resist. Is the burn going to hit you here? Let's... Let's roll the dice and say that it will, shall we? Does it? Or does he get an attack? Ah, oh, he gets an attack. Okay. We tried to roll the dice and we failed. That's just how it works there sometimes. Um, you should burn next time though, right? Or do I try and ignite you again? We'll try a heavy ice shot, shall we? Oh my god, the accuracy. Look at this, and we'll just blast you like this. There we go. So a good combat once again. This time I feel like we've got the um, got the means to heal. We should heal up. Plus 25 speed. We'll put on Sandoy in case need be. And we will of course increase Sandoy's attack damage here. He's always going to be using physical damage. Now we pop on our knotted staff again. This almost feels like cheating having a healing run out party. We party heal. And I'm glad that I stacked up your pipe level here. Um, I think that our strat here is working pretty well for us so far. 
We have a bit of a longer video here for sure. But oh my god, we've got 700 gold to spend. Very nice. God's bed. Dead Lotus. Hag's Bane. We'll buy more of this. Temporarily boost attack damage. Refocus. Interesting. Bonds Cannon. Minus 3 speed. Concussive shot. Um, passive skill. Gather herbs. That's that's interesting. But I don't like it in our helm slot. Her armor is not bad at all. Freeze immunity. What's your current armor using? 7 and 5. This one is 5, 5, 5 max HP. I don't think it's necessary there. I think instead we do go for our... And we've got the gold for it. Why don't we just stack it up? Leave the vol curses. Okay. We want to remove this curse. So we buy that. We gift that um, Hagsbane across to Sandoya. Sandoya then pops the Hagsbane once he can. And we've got enough healing here. I think we just leave our money as is. Hopefully it doesn't get stolen from us. We will pass. Wait. Okay, no, good. We still can use it. There we go. Remove the curse. Very nice. Everyone's healed up. We could pop a golden root as well, which we will do. Why not? We're about to fight the end of this floor here in a second. Um, we do have two identify scrolls. Why don't we use one of them? It's just a treasure chest. Okay, I'll open that bad boy. Still worth checking just in case it's a mimic. Although then again, if it was a mimic, it's also fine, isn't it? Extra resist. I think I'll equip that. We're not fighting any scourges here for a while. Guard boots. I think the health region and vitality. We don't mind losing that for extra armor and resist. Plus one physical damage, plus four crit damage. Crit chance there, sorry. I think I'll equip this in place of that other one that we just took there. So we're swapping out items almost immediately here. <laughs> That's all right, here we go. Here is our main boss of this floor. Oh, he's the big boy. He is a big boy. Undead Bisontor. Bisontor. Foolish peasants, chaos has given us unimaginable power, including the ability to cheat death itself. You stand no chance. Does that mean that you guys resurrect each other? Or do you resurrect him? You also have huge resistances to regular attacks, so we might actually finish you off here with both of our spell casters, and then we'll switch across to something else. Let's freeze you here to start with though. So we're going to target you down the middle. Oh, I should have upped my party evade here actually in hindsight, although they seem to be evading well enough on their own. Those party buffs would certainly help out a great deal. We can't transfer anything during the heat of battle. Um, we will just go for pure damage here. There we go. 55 damage. Actually, could we take him out? Oh, he's not even attacking for ages. Don't have to worry about killing him here this turn. Now, we could bleed you, or we could just go full on damage. I quite like the idea of a bleed. 44 crit. Plus a bleed. How much bleed damage? Large and frequent damage. Oh, wait. He did get to attack. Okay, that was a bit foolish. Oh well. Armor up is fine. We're not attacking you with armor. Armor down. Now we don't have to worry about swapping your bow though, so that's interesting. We will go for a regular shot on you, and that should finish you off. Distraction. Okay, never mind. Didn't quite finish you off, but at least we finish you off here. There we go. That's one of you done. Now we target everything on you. 37 damage. As the bleed taker. Oh, I forgot about the enemy armor though. Great dodge. Down to 1 HP. Um, oh, you're like this. Beautiful. Now down to 1. So I think so far we're doing pretty well here. And I think we do go for our bolt here. At the end of this floor, we are going to be resting. And we will stack ourselves up. Ready for the next floor. 30 resistance. Oh my lord. 5 damage. Better than nothing. 
And now we just hope for the best here, I think. Uh, why don't we... We'll do that as well. Beautiful 70 crit. Our team is pretty stacked. Great experience, 100 gold. Book of Law. Plus 25 party evasion. We'll get a second one of those. Volcanic Tome. It's uncommon. Inferno Blast, Greater Firestorm, Firewall, Smoke Wall. Plus 50% damage against ice. Okay. It just seems like it's better. And also, it has three um, dice rolls rather than one. Or four, sorry. <laughs> Words. Burn immunity as well there. Venture's Cloak. Plus for awareness. We've already got it there. We can pop a second one in case that one gets lost though, I suppose. Well, do we increase increase this one here so we get extra armor we get some evasion honestly i think it's worth just us equipping that one there portal scroll give that to Cass, and tell you what that's the end of that combat here we're ready up we get to the end of this floor and i think is that the end of this dungeon here okay 75 percent chance we'll use one of these disable it 24 experience Cass getting all the experience here can we give her a level up here? I don't believe so. I think that removes a wee bit of chaos from us. Oh my god. Very, very bright screen. The success, or your success in the King's Maze, has brought down the shield over Harazul. That is the tower to the east. The greatest challenge lies ahead. For the fate of Farul, fight on. I was with King Bronn when he died. His screams echo in my dreams. Please avenge him and grant peace to his spirit. The chaos has diminished. We have a chance. Three people in all Farul could have unlocked these secrets. I am one, my beloved husband was another, the third is you, Mari Glow Bexor. I named the traitor and enemy of the realm. So it is the wizard there that vanished. Bexor. O oh, clever Queen Rosamon. My name availed you naught. Omus, god of chaos, draws near. Your puny gods are but his misbehaved whelps, and almost is coming to help. Or to punish them. That's pretty kinky. We've already remained here too long. Your next destination is Hasta, where you'll find Master Yanzas, another royal agent. Go to Hasta in the Parched Wastes. Okay, so I guess it's time to head back into our boat. Before we do, we do have Cass. Is it Cass's turn currently? No, it's Sandoy's. Okay, in that case, we're going to leave the episode here. You got a bit of a longer one there, team. Hope you all enjoyed. If you did enjoy it, please don't forget to like and subscribe. Helps it a great deal. Um, also try and catch our content on Twitch at twitch.tv slash Sandoya. And until next time, you guys have a great evening and I will catch you next time. Bye for now.